Oké, okay, welkom, welkom everyone to Ukraine Explained, where I'm gonna explain Ukraine. Let's go and today of course we're gonna talk about the Ukrainian city of Bakhmut because everyone wants to take over this city. The Russians are fighting for it, the Wagner group is fighting for it and the Ukrainians is, are of course defending the city. So we're gonna talk about it today and I'm gonna show some very insane videos that got out like uh, today and yesterday we got some new feed, uh, footage that is like very very sick so what is uh, happening at this time the Wagner group and the Russians they are saying we almost got this city encircled they saying uh, Ukrainians this is your time to leave if you want to leave alive because there is like one road left and they are saying we may capture this city within days or even hours. So this is, uh, yeah, this is not good news for Ukraine. But I actually, if I'm very honest, I actually don't know why everyone is keep put pushing onto this city. Like the Russians, uh, they uh, already lost so many people and the Wagner group and the Ukrainians. Um, I don't think there's like a lot of strategic uh, value in this city. Of course, whoever wins this city, they can of course uh, say to their audience, you know, we are the winners and they are the losers. But I really think that and the Ukrainians and the Russians, they are losing way too much people over this city. But let's go to the videos. Uh, there is a very interesting video. Let's start. I'm not sure about the music, I will cut it off. But look at how this road looks like. I mean, what is happening, man? This looks like some kind of cartoon or maybe like a video game. Look at this, like from all of the sides, you see people attacking, you see helicopters attacking. And there you see all those uh, uh, smoke from artillery and stuff like this. And then here the helicopter flies so so low so it's very very uh, dangerous to be there and this is from today i don't want to take too long time i will talk about this later but let's see this is like the latest video from the city of mariupol so you can see the russians the wagner group they are very very angry because the ukrainians they cannot be defeated and this reminds me a little bit of Mariupol. This is exactly what happens when Russia cannot win at the normal way. So they need to bring in all of these weapons that are against the law. You cannot use this kind of weapons because not only against the army, but there are still civilians in the city and they are using a lot of weapons that are forbidden by law so i am not happy with what i'm seeing but as you can see russia is again with their back against the wall and they don't have any chance of winning the normal way and then they will start using again this type of weapons this is very 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 bad because this where uh, this uh, this stuff this is uh, like uh, if you get this like on your um, on your body uh, yeah i don't want to be that person for real and now there's like also very weird video coming out from the wagner group from their leader and now he's talking about what will happen if the wagner group surrenders or retreats from the bakhmut now he will talk about what does this mean to the Russian army and he is saying if the Wagner group soldiers leave, if they retreat, he is saying that the whole front line of Russia will collapse. But I am not understanding this following thing. If he just posted like a video like one day ago that they're almost uh, winning in Bakhmut. They almost got it. It will fall in like one day. It will fall maybe in two days. And now he's talking about, well, maybe theoretically 
if we are going to leave it, if we need to surrender Bakhmut because we cannot win it, then the whole of Russian front line will collapse. And I'm like, why would you talk about this if you're on the winning hand? If you're about to get your like f final prize, why do you talk about this? Let's see what does he has to say. Мы можем или не можем? Да, мы можем. Мы можем, значит, и вы можете, ребята, вперед. Если ЧВК Вагнер сейчас откатывается, то в истории происходит следующая ситуация. Понятно, что фронт посыпется, фронт посыпется для российских границ, может быть, и дальше посыпется. В общем, ситуация будет не сладкая для вообще всех формирований военизированных, которые защищают интересы России. А для ЧВК Вагнер будет следующая история. ЧВК Вагнер отступила от Бахмута, и в истории останется следующая формулировка. Группа наемников во главе с Пригожиным, она убедила президента Путина в своей необходимости. Нас на самом деле позвали, когда было... Well, I will stop it at here, because he actually already said, like, the thing that I wanted to talk about. Yeah, so he's now saying, uh, yeah, if we leave, the whole of the front line will collapse and Putin must understand that we are very, very important. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very, uh, yeah, a little bit weird, weird, weird out that he's uh, talking about uh, uh, this kind of defeat or this kind of surrendering while they're on the winning hand. I mean, why would you even begin and consider this talk? I mean, I, I'm, for, for me, it's very, very weird. So we can see uh, that the Russian army and the Wagner, they cannot win uh, uh, with normal weapons. They cannot win even with these illegal weapons. So now they have their final stand. Now they are using magic. I don't, I'm not sure about the music in this clip, but they are now uh, having these witches from Russia and these witches they are like uh, doing some spells and they are saying yeah the sanctions will go away and the russian soldiers will be stronger and all these high marks from ukraine will be destroyed by us so yeah i mean <laughs> at, at some kind of, 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 of way it's it's like funny it's like uh, yeah why not uh, to 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 see this kind of uh, things but i mean they're probably very serious these people and I mean, somebody like recorded this video and they put it online. So, I mean, I assume this is not really like a joke, but yeah, to, to, to count on magic to win this war. I mean, phew, I don't want to be in Russian uh, shoes uh, at this point. I mean, they're already uh, using illegal weapons. They're using normal weapons. They are killing civilians and all this stuff. And then if that doesn't work, just call in the witches and the, Warlocks. <laughs> Till next time. Woo!